Good morning, family. I'm Stephanie Wade. I'm Habasil, helping your brothers and sisters in Africa, and I'm also the Creole Griot Test. I'm doing fabulous this morning. I'm using my Gambian camera, <laughs> and I cannot turn the camera around because I don't have the same eye movie on this one as the other one, and I will have to try to figure out how to edit before I can even release this to you guys. But today I just want to let y'all know I am working on getting a, a internet with Afrasel. I talked to La Men. Yes, everybody said to be named La Men. That's the firstborn son. <laughs> She's at Afrasel in the tropics mall. And guys, this is Africa. It's developing. So even though the store is lovely and they gave me a free pen and a keychain with Afro cell on it and I took a selfie there, I still have to wait till they get the uh, Wi-Fi router boxes so they can put their internet on my, on my box. I could get a neutral box, but then if I had any issues with it, they couldn't help me fix it. <laughs> so that's why I just get the router box from the company. So I am going to hopefully get it next week when it when the router box comes in. And then I will be having AfroCell for the Wi-Fi because I've given QCell almost two years. And I'm just going to leave them on my phone, y'all. So there'll be a plan A on my phone, <laughs> and uh, plan B will be my Wi-Fi with Afrasel, and I just need y'all to keep praying for me <laughs> that my internet service will be better. You just have to keep trying, y'all. Keep trying. Stay happy. I've missed y'all these couple of days. And I'm giving y'all the only internet I can give y'all for right now, which is QCell on my phone. So I don't know how this is going to come out, but however it is, y'all will know I'm doing fine. I should be going to my land this morning. We got to get a few more bricks to finish up the beginnings of the border wall because y'all know it's it's a, a four corner wall like the local people do because i'm a resident of the gambia y'all i'm on a shoestring budget as far as repats go because i'm keeping my house in the u.s so that's all i gotta say y'all i'm working on getting everything done correctly and uh jam by and jelly and then we're gonna plant trees and some uh seeds too and get a a farmer a young farmer to do some permaculture out there and plant some uh bamboo out there during the rainy season, so when I come back, I'm gonna have a natural bamboo wall fence all around, y'all. It'll be natural, it'll be something that I can afford. I wish y'all could see these birds, y'all. They are doing their thing this morning. But I can't turn the camera around because I'm telling y'all I can't edit. So since I can't edit y'all, whatever flies above my head is all you'll be able to see today. But I promise I'll make it up to you guys. Cause I do have lots of footage that I have to upload anyways, I do. I promise you I do, I have lots of footage. I don't know what happened to my little small bird this morning. But anyways. It's all good in the neighborhood, y'all. Been doing my shopping. I'm so glad to have so many silversmiths 
and the Gambia. Going to different craft venues, you get to see these wonderful crafts uh, men around. I didn't get anything from the guy yesterday because I couldn't negotiate properly with him. And it's a reason why I went to the crafts market in the first place. A particular person I wanted to see. See my juju, my juju, mojo, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that guy that sells those. I'm Creole, y'all, so we had to go visit him first. And we actually didn't see him first, but along the way I get to buy a few items that I actually always wanted. One that I just always like to get, and that's uh, beaded statues. This is actually the first beaded statue I've ever gotten. I have a beaded mask from Nigeria. So this will be the first of beaded statue from the Gambia. She are not the last, because the guy there, relatively young, and he has other objects that he's embellished. And then of course I couldn't leave the sisters out, so you'll be seeing these uploads soon with focus on the Gambia, the craftspeople the entrepreneurs that you may not always see in the Gambia from somebody who actually buys their crafts. I buy their stuff first before I interview them. That's why they're so motivated to talk when I'm done. I never ask to interview anybody or start recording anybody. If I haven't participated in cooperative economics first, that's my rule. That's my rule. I see that people light up once they get paid, y'all. Once they know they don't have to worry about nothing for that day. Because I negotiate because it's fun to me. I have no concept of what that monopoly money is anyway, but I do know my limit. I know my limit, and I know as a craftsperson myself, what stuff should or should not start at, at least. And sometimes I start at a ridiculous price because they won't start. <laughs> I'm like, you start. And they're like, nah, you start. <laughs> and I say, no, because I don't even know where to begin. And they'll be like, oh, you know, my ancestors say blah, blah, blah. So hey, I can't argue with the ancestors, y'all. So I'm going to start at a ridiculous price. I ain't going to overcharge myself. <laughs> and we're going to play and play and play until we get to a happy medium where they're happy because they face still smiling. And I'm happy because I know that we negotiated, we did the thing, and we good. <clears throat> we are sisters and brothers when we done. We take photos together. We do videos together, and they they legit, and they really happy, and I'm really they good customer, for real, y'all. Not not somebody who's just messing with them, you know, just so I could record them. I don't get reimbursed for this, y'all, and like I said, yeah, I did all the paperwork stuff I was supposed to do, and it's a whole mess with that I don't even want to discuss with these people. But you know, sometimes you're supposed to do things for different reasons. And I'm, I'm doing my thing because I like sharing with y'all. And I like letting the spotlight be on these hard working sisters and brothers in the motherland. Right now, Gambia. I love their crafts, their arts. I only pick certain ones because their products talk to me, y'all. It's like, I'm here, I'm here, come get me. I'm yours, you know? And I just be coming and get what's already mine, y'all. What's already mine. 
the cane that looks like a woman. I already had her on my mind a while back. And I got her now. I saw a bracelet that's silver. If it's there when I get back, it's mine too. But that woman with that carrying that load on her head and embellished, wow. She's so fabulous, y'all. And I love the way she looks. And she just spoke to me, y'all. She wasn't even the one that was up front. But, he, but the guy said, her daughter is inside. <laughs> I said, well, you got to let me see her daughter. If this statue that I'm drawn to is so beautiful, you got to let me see the other one. And the other one just reminded me of me. And I had to get her, y'all. She was like, hey, buy me, y'all. If somebody can retain their culture over so many centuries, no matter through colonization, I'm just impressed, y'all, when I see the culture surviving and thriving, even if they say in ancient times people wore this or people did this. As long as folks remember their history, I don't care if they dress like that anymore or, or have those beliefs anymore, but as long as you remember and remember, that's the main part. When we learn better, we do better. All of us, y'all. All of us. I believe that. Hopefully, the Herbacea Forest Project will plant more seeds <clears throat> of lots of things. So people may think of their culture in a different light. And their ancestors' beliefs in a different light too. Not everything was good, but sometimes you just can't throw out the baby with the bathwater, y'all. You take the good and improve on it. I'm just glad they remembered it, period, you know? I'm just glad they remembered it, period. I wish I could get the background for y'all, but it just seems to be impossible for me to get the correct lighting, you know? Because this is a new camera, so I don't know what else to do, y'all. feel like Isaac Hayes on that. I just don't know what to do with myself, y'all. <laughs> but I know I'm keeping recording. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to keep it short and sweet, y'all, because I don't want to be where I can't record. <laughs> Uh, with one shot with y'all just because I'm trying to pick up the birds flying in the air. I can tell from my smiles that the birds are there. I'll take a few pictures. But anyway, I have to load them up to my post. So just look at the community post. If you want to see the pictures, they'll have to be separate this time because of this new camera. But anyway, y'all, I'm just checking in with you guys. Pray for me that that router box from Afrocell will really be here early next week so I can get uh, Afrocell and give them a chance and see if I can get better internet for you guys so I can use my iPhone again. So until the next time I upload, y'all, peace, peace, power to the people. And I'm out, y'all. Bye.